I've got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 right here. And today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader for the Redmi Note 8, the Redmi Note 8T, and the Redmi Note 8 Pro. And honestly, this will work for any device, any Android smartphone that's using the Ginkgo codename. I do my best to try to keep up with all of the rebranded phones that Xiaomi and its sub-brands release, but at a certain point it just gets to be too much. So if Poco or Realme or Xiaomi has released the Ginkgo device under any other model name, this bootloader unlock method will work for that as well. Now for this to work, you're going to need to have some things set up ahead of time. You're going to need to have a Xiaomi Mi account so that we can log into our Mi account on this device. You're going to need to download the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool. And I'm going to have the website links, then the download links to the to this in the video description. You're also going to need to have a SIM card because Xiaomi needs to check with its servers through a mobile data connection and it requires us to disable Wi-Fi to unlock the bootloader. So once you're ready, we first need to log into our Xiaomi Mi account. And we can do that by going into the settings application scrolling down a little bit and then looking for the me account option you're just going to want to tap on that option and then log in to your account whether you just created it right now or whether you've had it for years now, whenever you log into your Xiaomi account, you're likely going to get a prompt asking if you want if you want to enable both the sync as well as the find device feature. These two options are recommended to be enabled. Uh, I'm not sure if Xiaomi has changed anything. I've been doing this for a few years on these devices. And since I've been doing this, or at the time I started doing this, they required us to both enable sync as well as the find device option. And that has to do with the check that Xiaomi is going to do whenever it, whenever you insert your SIM card and do the bootloader unlock request. So with that done, we can then simply go back into the settings application we need to enable developer mode. And if you're not familiar with how to do this, be sure to again, check the video description as I have a link showing you how to enable developer mode on Xiaomi devices. And we need to go into the developer options page, which then appears in the additional settings section of the settings app after you have enabled developer mode. And it's in here that we actually need to go in and enable the OEM unlock option. It's going to be a simple toggle. We toggle it on. We're going to get a confirmation prompt immediately after. And just tap the blue enable button after that. After you insert your SIM card, you're likely going to see a couple of notifications pop up with the device trying to activate the SIM card by sending an SMS message. I've never acted on those notifications. I've just left them in the drawer. You may or may not see them. It's just something that I've noticed. After we have inserted our SIM card, we can then go and disable Wi-Fi which is actually a required step that we're going to need to do. 
And then we're going to go back in the settings app, back in the developer options page. And then you're going to look for this me unlock status option. We're just going to tap that. You should see a prompt pop up at the bottom asking for permissions. We're just going to agree. Now I recommend that you read this text right here, as well as the instructions right here. Again, we just make sure that we have inserted a SIM card. Mobile data is currently enabled and a connection has been made. Wi-Fi has been turned off. And again, remember we have already added our account to the settings. So now we just simply need to tap on the add account and device. You should get a toast message right there saying preparing to add the device and then wait for another toast message that says added successfully. You should see both of those messages appear to indicate that the request has been or that the association has been requested and that the, the account and your device has been successfully added. Both of those toast messages need to appear. When you're ready to continue, we're going to go to this download link on our desktop because we need to download a program called the Xiaomi Me Unlock Tool. I'll be including this link in the video description as well. However, first we need to boot this device into fast boot mode. We're going to do that by powering off the device. waiting a few seconds after the screen goes black to make sure that the smartphone is actually turned off and then booting the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 into fast boot mode by pressing and holding the power and the volume down buttons at the same time. So here I have the extracted contents of the Mi Flash program. I've just extracted the, all of the contents into this folder. We're going to look for the me flash unlock exe file right here. We're just going to open a program that looks like this. We're going to go ahead and click on agree. And then we're going to log in to the same Xiaomi me account that we used to log in on the phone. After you log into your me account, it's going to bring you to this screen. It's going to tell us to turn the phone off and then hold the, that button combination, which is basically telling us to boot into fast boot mode, which we've already done. So once we get to this screen, our Redmi Note 8 is in fast boot mode right now. All we have to do is connect that phone to our PC with a USB cable. You should see that section right there change as the phone is detected and that we're going to get this alert, this warning saying that unlock will erase user data. However, this is only step one of the bootloader unlock process. This is basically sending a request to Xiaomi's servers to start a countdown timer because we have to wait usually about seven days until we can actually unlock the bootloader. What we're doing here is requesting the bootloader unlock. So once you see that section change, again, we're just gonna click on unlock. It's going to pop up this confirmation warning screen and this is gonna happen a couple of times. We're gonna click unlock anyway and another warning screen pops up. This is normal. We're going to click unlock anyway, and then the percentage is going to start to tick up again. Remember, we cannot actually unlock the bootloader right now. We're just going to send the request. So we're going to click on that button. We're trying to get this 
screen to show two check marks. For some reason, it's not being able to get the information. So let's try this again. Click unlock. So as I suspected, I was having an issue with Pi-hole on my, on my network. So the connection to Xiaomi servers was being blocked. So I just had to disable Pi-hole. Now again, the request parameter error message is not something we're looking for. We actually want to get a hour countdown right here. So let's go ahead and click on the unlock again button. So as you can see, sometimes this stuff can be sketchy. Sometimes the tools that are provided to us are not 100% bug proof and we need to attempt the process again. I remember having to go through this same process on either the Poco M3 or the Redmi Note 9. It was a video I did recently where I was getting that parameter error. So if you get that, just know that you can attempt it again by clicking the unlock again button. I have sent a request to Xiaomi's servers saying that I request to unlock the bootloader of my device. Xiaomi has accepted that bootloader request, but again, they have a countdown timer. So now I need to wait 168 hours, which is seven days, once that time has passed, all I have to do, and all you have to do, is boot the phone back into fast boot mode, connect the phone to our PC with a USB cable, and come back into, open up the Xiaomi Mi Unlock program again, and go through this process. We're going to make sure our account is logged in, and then we're going to click the unlock button, just as I just showed you. Except this time, once it goes through verifying the device, we're gonna get multiple check marks here because we, have, we will have passed that 168 hour countdown. Once we are here, we can, and we have this countdown hour message, we can unplug the phone and after we have unplugged that USB cable, we're just gonna hold the power button down for about seven to 10 seconds to force the device to reboot. If you want, you could keep that USB cable connected and you could execute the command fast boot space reboot. As long as you got your USB drivers set up properly, which you should since the Mi Unlock tool recognized it properly then it should reboot the device the exactly the same way as just holding the power button down. Now we have not actually wiped our data right now because the bootloader unlock is not complete. When we do unlock that bootloader in seven days, it will force a factory data reset. So be sure that you back up any important data ahead of time. And that is how to officially unlock the bootloader for the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8T, and the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 Pro.